Hi everybody, welcome to Stamps by Me. Uh, my name's Tony, Tony Derrick, and this is my very own studio. I am so excited to show you what we've been working on for the last how many months. Um, I'm absolutely over the moon that it's come to fruition and I'm so delighted that you guys at home have tuned in to watch what we're going to show you today. I truly hope you have as much fun watching me as I'm having doing what I'm doing today. So as I've already said, my name's Tony. My company name is Stamps By Me. For those of you that have not met me before, seen me before, welcome. So the purpose of this channel was to show everybody that, you know, um, you can get great demonstrations live on air. You can see brand new products. So the frustration really for all those customers who have been watching and missing out on hints, tips and techniques, that's all disappeared because from here on in we will be doing lots of video tutorials, lots of brand new product releases and things like that. So this is absolutely the place to be. So it's absolutely free to watch. If you buy the products, that's amazing. If you love what I'm doing, then that's amazing too. But honestly, sit at home, get your cup of coffee coffee and just enjoy what I'm doing. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got a presenter at the side of me, so um, I will be talking quite a lot. If you hear some silent moments, it's because mm. I've run out of things to say or <laughs> I've dried up a little bit, so you will have to bear with me. This is brand new to us, so there will be some um, problems, I'm sure teething problems along the way, but please persevere with us because what we have going on here at Stamps By Me is absolutely amazing. So welcome everybody, if you're watching live on the website that's amazing, basically what happens is you can see this live on our website and when you've watched it, it doesn't matter if when it's finished, this live demonstration will always be available on the website until our, we upload our next one. So it's always going to be live, it will always be there and it will never change until I do the next demonstration that's on our website however if you do want to watch some of our older videos that we've done you can go straight to YouTube and they will be on there as well so just pre-warning you my little boy is also present so if you hear a slight cough or something like that or little boy asking something please bear with unfortunately it's really snowy outside and he has to stay with us in case he gets caught anywhere so he's actually shouting me now so um, just be persevere with me will you so um, Thanks for watching. I've got lots of things to show you today, some great demonstrations and some requests as well. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to talk you through um, one of our brand new products today. And um, this has been in the making for quite some time now. So it's our box project and it's called our Thinking of You box project. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a range of box projects. They're all going to be called Thinking of You. And the purpose of these boxes was to create something that you could either give to a loved one, you know, give us a present, cheer somebody up. Or if you just wanted it in your crafty stash, then you could do that and you could create some amazing looking cards, gifts, albums and things like that. So um, the box is here now and I'm just going to talk you through the box for this for this one. So this is box project number one. There will be two and there will be three and four. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if they are successful, we will continue the journey doing the box projects. Some of which will go to TV, some of which will be done in our studio. It depends um, how we go with them. So if you um, do like this box project, the product number for this one is 201523. Now, if you go to our website, on the top left-hand corner, there is a search box. If you type that number in, that will take you straight to the product and you can see exactly what's in the product, what um, stamps are in there, what comes in with the box project in itself. So you can actually read in detail because it's very difficult for me to remember live on air what's actually in the box, but I will talk you through it regardless. So uh, this lovely box project, um, it comes in this beautiful box. It's a metallic copper box and as you can see it's so stunning. It has the coordinating ribbon on the front and it has a magnetic closure on the front. Now the size of this box is nine and a half by five and a half so it's a huge box and it's four inch deep. So if you wanted to just take the box and put something beautiful inside you could do that or create a gift for something, somebody or some note cards or things like that then that this is obviously a fabulous box. It looks actually like a chocolate box which is 
absolutely lovely. So it's got the ribbon closure on there as well and that also coordinates with the box. So let's have a look and see what's inside. So I'm just turning it this way so we can have a see what's inside. So again, as I said earlier, product number for this one is 2015-23. Now you can type that straight into the search box on our website and it will take you straight to the product. Now what I will say is this is a limited edition box. Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, the stamp will never be repeated. The stamp will never go to TV. It's only available in this box. So if you really like it, then you need to grab it quite quick. So when you open the box, it all comes hand wrapped in some beautiful tissue paper. And then when you get it home, you get to see all the goodies inside. So I'm going to go through them step by step as to what's in the box. So what you get first in this box is some beautiful glossy embossing powder. Now this is clear um, and it goes beautiful with the stamp set that I'm going to um, show you all. So you can create highlights on trees and things like that. So as you can see there, it's a 50 mil jar, so it's absolutely huge. So you get absolutely loads in there. It will last you forever. It's a good size tin, is that one? You also get brand new and exclusive to Stamps By Me is your Fab embossing ink pad. So this is for your heat embossing. So if you are into your heat embossing and you like to do it, then this is brilliant. It's fine art bonding, so it picks up all the detail. It has a lovely cushion on there, so you will not miss any parts or anything like that. So it's a really good one. And the added bonus, as always with Stamps By Me, is your wonderful reinker. So you get both of those in this box set as well. Also in the box set, you get your um, water droplet gems. So when you see the stamp set, you'll see why I popped this in the box. Some great thoughts gone into this box. So I hope you appreciate, you know, what I've done. I haven't just thrown things in a box in the hope that people would buy them. I've given them lots of thought. So that's your water droplet gems. And they are just under a centimetre, but they are stunning. Now, one of our DT girls uses these all the time, Karen, and she, I think she gets asked a lot of um, questions as to where she gets them from. So now you can get them from here. So also in the box is your uh, detailed flourish. Now this has a sticky back. So if you try and remove this from the carrier sheet all in one, it's very difficult. So what I suggest you do is you could use it as elements and cut into it and use it as separate parts. And they are clear diamantes in there. So in also in the kit, you get your aperture cards. Now these are amazing. I always say on TV when I'm on Create and Craft, that um, I like to frame my artwork. Now these are perfect to frame your artwork. So these are five and a half by four inch cards and you get the matching note cards, sorry, the matching envelopes inside. So also in this set, you get some capsulated glitter card. Now this one is amazing for um, backing pieces of cardstock or using it for your die cut elements. So. Again, capsulated, so no drop, no shed. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I, you can see from the camera that it's picking up beautifully. And I've got a demonstration for this one. Also in the set, we have the matching metallic copper card. Now, this is beautiful, again, for your die cut. So if you want everything to coordinate, this really does work. You know, I've put it all together so it all works together. So keep digging, keep digging, it's, it's never ending. So underneath that one then we have your larger aperture cards. So if you want to create, the, if you're a person that likes to create bigger cards, then you can do that with this as well. So these ones are white. So I've tried to put in a bit of difference in there. So you've got your white ones and you've got your cream ones. And again, these have got the oval aperture. And again, for framing artwork, they've got the matching envelopes in there also. So, you know, great for your artwork. And then the last item in the box is the beautiful stamp set. Now, as I said before, this is limited edition. It only comes with the box. You cannot get this anywhere else. So um, it has five leaf, five leaf stamps in there and four sentiments. So as I go through um, the hour with you, I will tell you what sentiments are in there and how you can get some great looking cards by using everything that's in your kit. So this all comes beautifully packed 
um, and wrapped so it won't get damaged so when you get it through the post it will be absolutely amazing so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this to one side and halfway through the show I will just revisit what's in the box just in case we have any new viewers who have missed the start of the show so I'm just going to pop this to one side just for now and I'm just going to quickly show you some samples from what's been made from the design team now unfortunately I would have had a lot more samples however due to weather and the postman and things like that I've missed out on a few people's um, samples so I have um, limited samples but I'm sure the ones I've got we'll be blown away by so first of all I just wanted to show you one that Marilyn's done and this is a beautiful box so this is the box that you get with your kit okay I'll just move this out of the way for you so so how beautiful is that she's put some flowers on there she's used the glitter cardstock that comes within the kit this is one of the sentiments that is on the stamp set and all she's done is covered the box with some beautiful cardstock and again it's so um what's the what's the word i'm looking for it's really like classic but it's a sturdy box it's not weak you know it's perfect for a gift it's perfect for a mini album if you love your mini albums things like that like i do then you know it's absolutely gorgeous so this is just the box so um just think about what you could do with that one so i just pop this back where it belongs keep my set nice it took me ages to make sure my set looked really nice and then here we have some beautiful note cards which you can see there which Marilyn's made and she's made a handful of them to go inside the box aren't they just lovely so that's the stamp set just in multicolours she's done a bit of ink blending on there and then if you've purchased our stuff before this feather here is from our um, previous dies so she stapled a feather on there that just looks absolutely stunning i hope you agree with me i believe it is anyway thank you marilyn these are absolutely gorgeous and what she's also done just to make it extra special is she stamped the image onto one of our envelopes and she's used the postcard stamp as well so that this is absolutely beautiful so it makes a lovely set and when i picked this up from marilyn it all was packed beautifully inside the the decorated box and I was just like oh this is just stunning so I just know that if you create things at home with them then you will be absolutely blown away with them too so that's those and then here is another one and this is one of my demos so I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful looking card so um, the colour of the leaves down the left hand side then you've got the coordinating glitter card stock behind and I've used the larger stamped leaf on the side of it and I used the glossy embossing powder on that one to make it sparkle but can you see on, on here as well you've also got your little water droplets how amazing do they look they actually look like water droplets on the leaves so this is one of them that we're going to be doing um, as a demonstration so um, stay, stay with me guys stay with me so that's one and then one of the card beautiful cards using the lovely aperture card that is um in your kit as well so like i said earlier about framing your artwork it looks absolutely gorgeous and that's just using the different colored uh, embossing powder in the middle on the larger of the leaves so these are so simple to do but i'm going to do some demonstrations so i was also asked before i went live to air from a lovely lady um could you show us how to um, do the outline on the stencils? So if we've got time, I have pre prepped a demonstration to help you with the outline of pen. So I will show you which pen to use and how to put an outline on a stencil once we've um, done these two cards. Okay, so I'm just going to get ready. Um, I hope everybody's managing to see us. Um, I hope it's um, looking okay. I hope you please do what you can see so far. And we will get um, right cracked right on into a demo if that's okay because that's the whole purpose of why I had this created so you will get hints tips techniques lots of tutorials things like that so what we're going to do is I'm going to create this card first so this is the card I showed you earlier and it's this one here so I've gone ahead and prepped some of the things um, 
before I went to air. So this is what we're going to try and achieve within um, this demonstration. So I've got a white top folding note card and what I'm going to do, just move everything out of the way, make sure you can see clearly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this into my Eureka. And hold it down with our magnet. So if you have not seen our Eureka before, basically the Eureka is a paint palette plus it's a stamping aid. So if you struggle with your stamping or you worry about placement, things like that, then check this out on this website, on our website as well. This is available as well. And there's also a smaller one as well. So um, stay tuned in just to see how it works because I'm going to be using the paint palette as well. So um, I'm going to get my stamp set and I'm going to be using the larger the larger stamp set here which is this one this is the biggest one in the set what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it out in black and then I'm going to put the glossy embossing powder over the top so it gives it a glossy finish so ahead of time I've matte and laid the other piece but I wanted to show you how to create this lovely background so I've got a black ink pad and I have my beautiful glossy embossing powder and I have my gun on standby and I got it super hot before we went to air so I shouldn't have to waste much time getting my gun hot so before we do any heat embossing I always use an anti-static bag cover the area really really well you don't want any like um, mucky fingerprints or anything like that and then I'm just going to ink up the stamp So the great thing about the Eureka is if you do not get it right the first time, then you can do it again. And sometimes you want your images to be super black, so sometimes it really helps to, you know, um, stamp it two or three times. Like I just know that doing this on the first stamp is not going to be enough for me. I like my things to be super black. So, as you can see there, it's actually missed, hasn't it? Now that's so frustrating. So I'm just going to ink this up again. out again and fingers crossed we get a clearer image this time but guess what if I don't it doesn't really matter and I'm still actually missing there so I'm just going to move that around a little bit and I'm going to do it again and I'm going to make sure I get some ink on that um, tricky little leaf there which is this one make sure I press really hard there and then fingers crossed you should have a lovely image now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean that little leaf because it's been tricky and it's um, frustrating me slightly. So I'm just going to re-ink that area where it's actually missed because I think I might have had a little bit of mess on that little bit of a leaf. So I'm just going to ink it up again. And Am I inking the right one up? Yes, that's right. So just stamp it out again and fingers crossed we get it this time. Oh, there we go. Thank goodness for that. I was starting to panic slightly. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and I'm just going to use some cardstock to catch my glossy embossing powder. So this is so, f it's ultra fine is this one, so it gives a lovely crisp finish. So pour it on. Make sure you cover the whole of the image. And I'll just get rid of the excess. So before I heat that one up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the second one as well. So um, I've only got my gun on once. So just move that one out of the way for now. And I'm just going to pop it back in and I'm going to do a second print as well. So before I touch this horrid stamp though, I'm going to clean it because I am the world's worst person for getting um, yucky fingerprints on things. So this is quite a distressed leaf which is amazing, I absolutely love it. I'm so pleased with the, how this one turned out. I'm just going to place it face down again. I move my magnet so it's a little bit closer. If you have got two magnets, then that's really, really good. You can pop it in place so you, you know you've got absolute, it's absolutely secured. And then we just go back in again with the black ink pad. Now, as you can see, this image here has now dulled because I've got that embossing powder on there. It's not a problem. It will go super bright again as soon as I heat it up with my gun. 
So plenty of ink on. And because I can, I am going to stamp it again. And then we'll cover this one with the lovely embossing powder. If you can hear a door creaking, it's just my son just coming in for a nosy blessing. So as you can see there, it's all dulled, but as soon as I put the heat gun on this, it's going to go super bright. You'll be absolutely surprised. It's amazing. I'm so pleased with it. So as I said before, though, um, this stamp, this stamp is only available in this limited edition box. It won't be available on TV. It's not available as a stamp as an entity on its own. It only comes with the box. So... Item number 201523, you can get it on my website, just go to the search box and put that number in, it'll bring the item straight up, you'll be able to see all what's in there, the things that, um, the sentiments that are in there and things like that as well. So I'm just getting my gun hot. So obviously it gets, I get less warp in my card. So you can see how bright that is going. So detailed is this embossing ink, it's amazing, I'm sorry embossing powder, I'm so pleased with it. And the fab ink, the embossing ink picks up all the details so you're never going to um, you know, miss any detail because sometimes we do do detailed stamps um, and we need the ink pads you know, to live up to what we create. So you can see there how gorgeous that, that is there. It's absolutely gorgeous, so glossy. So you won't be disappointed with it. So what we're going to do with it now is we're going to create the second element of our card. We're just going to pop this to one side and then what we're going to do this time is we're going to go on to the border side of things. So I'm just going to pop this into um, the Eureka and I'm just going to secure it in place. I'm just going to get rid of the large stamp because we don't need it anymore. Make sure you look after your stamps, give them a clean pop them back on their carrier sheet and then we will use two of the other leaves from the collection I'm going to use this one here because this one's quite another quite large one and we will use um, this one here as well as you can see they are mucky that's because I've had a really good play with them and thoroughly enjoyed it so I'm going to do the larger one first so I'm going to place it face down in my tool, holding my artwork in place and we're going to use ink on this one. So I'm going to close the door, pick up the stamp and this time I have got two different types of green. I have the um, Sage Green 04 and Lime Green 03 from two different collections but the two different types of green you've got the sage green is one with a brown undertone and the lime green is quite lighter with a yellow undertone so what we will do is we will do the lime green one first so I'm going to ink up the stamp and you will actually see when I stamp this one out how sketchy these leaves are really really beautiful so if you wanted to stamp it out and then get your watercolour brush and drag the colour out so it looks like a watercoloured leaf you can do that too you know, you're only limited to your own um, ideas really and your own creativity. So I'm just going to get this one again and I'm just going to move it further up the page and we will do it maybe up here. And again we will get the same colour. Now there's a second generation under there and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So if you wanted to do first, second, third generation stamping with it and get lots of layers on there, that would look absolutely fabulous. So there's the, those two leaves on there. So what we'll do is we'll clean this one down 
and we will move on to the second one. I hope you're enjoying yourselves at home, ladies and gents, and you've got a coffee, and you know, you, it's, I'm meeting all your expectations. I've worked really hard to hopefully bring you something that's going to um, inspire you, you know, get rid of the frustration with regards to people missing out on demos because products sell out so quickly. So we'll change colours now. So we've changed shape of this um, leaf and I've changed to SG04. So I'm just going to stamp this one out. And this one has a brownie undertone, which is really, really appropriate for this, um, this stamp. So you'll see this in a second. How lovely is that? I mean, you could create some fabulous backgrounds, couldn't you? And we'll just move it up here a little bit. And don't be scared to stamp over things, you know. At the end of the day, it's just a bit of card and a bit, you know, a bit of um, ink. We can, I know we don't like throwing things away, me particular. Um, but, um, you know, just give them a try. These will look really lovely in hot pinks and purples as well. So I'm just going to get rid of this um, plain area here by popping um, this one across the top too. And I'm going to swap it out. And you see there you've got your generation part in there, which is absolutely gorgeous. So you could actually just leave it as is if you wanted to. Um, but I'm just going to swap it out for the um, lime green one. Just so we've got a bit of contrast in there. So just before I stamp it, I'm just zooming in just to show you. Can you see the second generation in there? How gorgeous is that one? There we are, look, how gorgeous is that? So we're going to leave that as is, because I think that's just beautiful and the stamp speaks for itself. I don't really need to do anything else on that one. So I'm just going to remove this from here. Again, just get rid of this stamp. Pop it back on its carrier sheet. Make sure my hands are clean. So what we're going to do is, in the set, you get some beautiful... Um, strips of encapsulated glitter. Now these coordinate with the box, they coordinate with the cardstock that's in the box as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick um, this beautiful piece onto this glittered cardstock. So what I'm doing is I'm using a wet glue for this one just simply because if you use tape what happens is tape dries out and it just comes away. So I'm using a glue in there. So can you see there how gorgeous that is? So I'm just holding it for a second just because I really want it to stick and I want it to be secure. So while that's sticking away, I've got my 3D foam underneath. Hopefully that will stick nicely. So whilst, just move this out of the way a second. So whilst we are waiting for that to dry, I'm just gonna show you how gorgeous these gems look on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some of these lovely, they're like water droplets, but the gems are clear, they've got no sparkle. And on one side, they are flat on one side and um, like domed on the other side. So they really do look like water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some of the um i'm gonna just put we'll just put three on one two it's better to work in threes like so and this glue is brilliant for the precision tip so um you know you can get in there good so i'm just gonna stick that on like so so one on that one so you've got lots in the bag so you know you don't have to be um frugal with them you know get them on so one two and where did I pop my other piece of glue? There it is. There we go. So what you can see is you get like this beautiful, I don't know if you can, there you can see them there, just there, look. It looks like water on a leaf, it looks amazing. So I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. And I'm just going to bring in my um, heat embossed black 
leaves from, from the collection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a sentiment across the bottom. So bring the Eureka back in. Get it so you can all see. And then from the collect in the collection, if you haven't already been to the website, um, to read what the sentiments say, I'll just read the one that I'm going to pop, pop on here. So we've got um, on the sample, on the sample one here, it says what is meant to be will always find its way. Okay, so that's that one on there. But you can you can choose whichever whichever one you want to put on there. So that's one of the sentiments. We've all we've also got begin each day with a new discovery, and you will never grow old. You will just grow. And then we have keep a smile on your face and let your personality be your autograph. You know, these are quite unique sentiments, so, you know, they'll work really well with your leaf sets. So I'm just going to pick one of the sentiments now. So you're going to have to pick one that fits. So what we will do is we'll pick a different one to what's on my original so you can see them in a different entity. So I'm just going to place this one face down in the space. Hopefully it fits on, which it does. So move your artwork, sorry, move your magnet across onto your artwork and then we close the door. Just make sure you can all see clearly and then I'm just going to ink it up with a black ink. And again, like I said earlier, if it doesn't stamp, it's, it's not a drama, we'll just go over and repeat the process. So it's done it first time, so I'm absolutely happy with that one. So just clean that one off and we can get our card constructed. So ahead of time, I put some 3D tape on the back of this strip and we'll get this adhered to our card. I double layered the 3D foam because I wanted it to have quite a big lift. And then I'm just going to decide which way. I think we'll go this way. Just going to pop this down the left hand side. Stick it down in place. There we have two amazing cards. Which I'll just lay it flat. There you go, so you can see them there. So two amazing cards, which literally takes a matter of minutes. There you go. So, you know, I, I don't really need to say much. I, abs I absolutely love it and I hope you guys at home think the same. It is a super sketchy one and it looks gorgeous in gold embossing powder. So, you know, give it a try, give it a will, see what you think. So, let's move on to something else. So that's that. Just going to pop this to one side, gather, gather my thoughts as to where we're going next. So I'm going to do a second demonstration using obviously the same, same stamp set from the, um, the box. So I'm just going to quickly go through what is, a, what is in the box so you can see in case you tuned in a little bit late or you missed the, um, the beginning of the um, live video. So I'm just going to show you quickly what is in the box and it's not going to be a full rundown, it's just going to be very quickly just because I appreciate probably most of you have already seen. So in the box you will get your glossy embossing powder, super clear, super fine, brilliant image every single time. So that's one. You also get your embossing ink. Now, um, this is your fine art bonding, so if you're wanting crisp, clean images every single time, this is brilliant. And Stamps By Me don't do anything without a reinker, so the reinker is added in there, so you'll never have to buy the ink pad again. You will just always hydrate it with your reinker. We also have a diamante flourish, which you can chop into, you know, layer it on your card, have it creeping from behind flowers. It absolutely looks gorgeous. We also have your encapsulated glitter strips, which is what I've just used in the demonstration on there. Or you could use it with your die cuts if you've purchased any of our dies. It does look really, really lovely. 
we have your um, pearlized card which matches the box so this is quite a large size so if you again wanting to use it for your die cuts or if you just wanted to use it to mat and layer onto a card so it all coordinates in the box for a gift for a friend then you can also do that we have your large aperture cards with the oval in the centre, so great for framing artwork, great for popping sentiments in the centre, they have the coordinating envelopes in there so you haven't got to worry about um, a size of envelope for your card, it's already there for you. We also have your cream ones which are a smaller one, so if you're not confident in doing the big ones and you want to do a few small ones to start with, then you can do this. The largest of the leaf set stamp does fit perfectly within this aperture so you get an idea of what size the stamp set is. It's an A5 stamp set by the way. And then this is the beautiful stamp set, which you can see on here. It's quite sketchy. It's a limited edition stamp. You can't get this stamp anywhere else. It will not be available on High Street. It will not be available even on Create and Craft. It is just for T just for here today okay so it comes with this box once the boxes have sold that's it that'll be the end of the stamp so if you are an avid stamps by me fan and like everything that we do then probably this is probably a good one to get so this is box project number one and there will be lots more to follow and then your beautiful box which i've already opened it has actually got the magnetic closure on there so you can see how strong it is it's a really good sturdy box so you get you've got your coordinating um, ribbon in there as well and it's packed beautifully so if you are wanting to give it to somebody as a gift then you know i'm sure they will not be disappointed so demonstration number two then so uh, it's all about the demonstrations and i'm going to do this card this time so this is using one of the aperture cards that's in the collection so this is the cream oval aperture card and i've used the leaves again and one of the sentiments but we've just changed it around a little bit by changing some of the colored inks and we're doing a little bit of water coloring as well so one second so i'm just going to take one of the aperture cards from the collection and as i said before you get the envelopes to coordinate as well so if you want to stamp onto the envelope like marilyn did and making sure it's all coordinating you can do that too so with this one i also stamped around the back you know to finish it this is um karen's technique she likes to do the stamping all the way around to finish the card so i'm going to do that in this demonstration as well for you so just move this one out of the way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this card into my eureka place it into the card and because i'm opening it up because i want the stamp to come down this side as well So if you can hear my little boy, he's wanting to get involved, bless him. Um, I'm sure he'll um, have an appearance one day, but not today, not for my first show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stamp set again. And I think I'm going to use the one where it's got two connected. So it's quite a large stamp, as you can see there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it First of all, I'm going to get a grey ink pad this time. So this is um, DGO3. This is from Collection 3. Now this gives you a beautiful pencil sketch look. So I'm just going to place this face down onto the back of the card first because we're going to decorate the back of the card. I'm just going to turn my sample over just so I can see where I stamped. So I'm going to close the door and then we will... Um, use the grey ink pad on this occasion so you'll be able to see how delicate this grey ink pad is it's absolutely gorgeous this is my favorite ink so bland but um it's my favorite color delivers every time for me so um this will just show you how lovely this stamps So that's the back of the card. Now what we need to do is we need to decorate the front of the card. Although we are going to watercolour, I'm going to decorate the front as well. So I'm just going to move this around. And I'm just going to turn that behind. Just hold it in place until we get round. So the same stamp. And what we're going to do is we're just going to move it around. 
Now what happened with this one was I popped it on like that and what I wanted to do was I wanted to get the impression of the leaf also within the aperture. Now this is a great way if you've got a Eureka or a Stampin' Aid of some form, you know, to get it within because you can repeat and repeat and repeat and press in different areas to make sure that you get the stamp within the aperture. So probably first time I'm not going to get it within the aperture but I will try, I will try my best. Try. Not a bad effort at all. I'm just going to do it one more time though because I really want it to be within that aperture. Everywhere else I'm not, I don't want it to be in the aperture but for this bottom, bottom left I really want to get the detail within that corner there. So I'm just going to make sure I press where I really, really want it. There we are, look how amazing is that? Amazing. So I'm just going to move this round. I know I've got three magnets. Do I need three magnets? I really don't need three magnets. I don't know how I've ended up with three magnets, but um, I'm using them. So I'm just going to do one creeping across the top of the corner here. Just move that round. Then we will ink this one. Then that will give me the ink on the top of that corner and then what we'll do is we'll remove the stamp again and we will just get a nice big chunky leaf on this corner. And using the same coloured ink pad, you could chop and change if you wanted to, you know, don't be afraid to use colours and things like that. I can't use the excuse I'm limited now for time, can I? <laughs> so I'm all down to my own time and my own creativity. So we'll just get one in this bottom corner. Just want it to touch, I don't want it to look too busy. So it should be perfect. So that just that just looks so classic in my opinion. You can see that there, the detail in that leaf is absolutely gorgeous. So what we're going to do now is we are going to do a little bit of watercolouring. Now I always watercolour using just my reinkers. so if you've purchased our inks before these are available on the website. They also come with the reinker. Now they are highly pigmented, they have a the, the bottles are 10 mil. they are highly pigmented and you only need a tiny little piece. So this is um, Generation Inks 01. So I'm just going to pop some of it into my well at the side here, just one little drop. And I'm also going to pop a little bit of orange, you know, because I don't want the card to look flat. I just want to give it a lift and that's what the orange will do for me. So just clean my fingers because I've got, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to ruin the card. So if you have got our stamp cleaning cloth, you will understand what I mean. So, I pop some colour within the wells and I'm just going to give them a spray with some water to dilute them slightly. And I'm just going to pop a bit of water in here as well, just in case I do need to add, uh, dilute it a little bit further. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the green and a little bit of water. And all I'm going to do, while it's held in place, is I'm just going to paint over the lines. Now if you do it like that and it's really, really dark, don't worry about it, it dries back very, very much lighter. So, you could also drop a little bit of orange in there as well, so it gives you a bit of an autumn feel. You know, don't be too um, clean with it because I always say the cleaner, it looks a little bit sterile. Add a little bit of orange in there if you want to. Just let it dry naturally. Don't oversaturate the card though guys at home because this is just um, normal cardstock and it will cockle if you wet it heavily. So you know, just um, don't add lots of water. So I'm just colouring the, I'm not colouring the inner aperture, I'm just colouring the outer part. And swap between your colours. It's 
not hard. It's um, it's actually really, really enjoyable. And then maybe just swap one of the leaves out for just some orange. So it gives you card. This is a great thing about cream. Not many people like using it, including myself. But when I do use it, I absolutely enjoy it. Thoroughly enjoy it because it's something different, isn't it? And then the last one. So I'm going to leave that as is. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, while it's in the Eureka, I'm just going to blast it off with my gun just to take the dampness out because my mucky mitts will ruin it. Absolutely ruin it and I don't want to ruin it. So while that's um, held within the Eureka, just going to clean that stamp off. Let's get the centre part heat embossed. So again, we're going to use our fab ink and we're going to use this beautiful um, large leaf. It's, it's, it's actually quite big. Um, so you can do the really big 8x8 cards and things like that. You can see the detail on there. So what I'm going to do before I do that is I always use my anti-static bag and I'm just going to do anti-static in the centre. This gets rid of any moisture. So I know when I come to throw my embossing ink on there, it won't stick to the parts that I don't want it to stick to. So I'm just going to place it face down in the aperture. I'm just going to close the door. And we'll use a fab. And just pink it up. Now, with this one, because it's clear, it's difficult to see. So you won't know if you've missed or if you've done it perfect or if you've missed. So what I suggest, and what I always do personally myself, is I always do it twice. So I know um, if I've missed, I've, I will have hit it the second time. So I know now, if I did miss the first one, that's my son telling me the business phone's ringing. I forgot to put that one on silent. <laughs> oh, we live and learn. I promise we will get better. So I can, I can see there that there is a watermark on there, so I know it's going to be absolutely fine. And what we're going to do this time is I'm going to use a different coloured embossing powder so you can get the feel how beautiful these um, images lend themselves to heat embossing. So I'm just going to cover it all like so. And then I'm just going to get move that out of the way. And I'm just going to tap off the excess. There you can see how gorgeous that heat embossed there now. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. So when I heat this one up, you'll see how sparkly it becomes. So I'll just shift this one out of the way. So I'll just heat this one up. And again, I'm going to get my gun hot because I really don't want um, the card to get a wave in it, you know, it's not very pleasing on the eye when you get a card and it's like it's like a wave. So I'm going to get my gun hot. And you should see the embossing powder change as I put the gun on it. I'm just getting my gun really hot first. So as soon as the powder starts to change, move your gun as well. You have a beautiful embossed flower on the uh, flower leaf on there. Absolutely love it. Oh, I'm so pleased. It's all mine. Um, if you like it, grab it quick. I would hate for anybody to miss out. 
Um, this is probably going I always say this is probably going to be one of my favourites, but they're all my favourites. I work hard on every single one of them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop a lovely sentiment across the bottom. So we'll just um, move that onto the carrier sheet. And this one is... It's the little things that make life big. So I'm going to pop this across the bottom and I'm going to close the door, pick it up and we'll use our black ink pad for this one. And if it doesn't stamp first time, it's not a great shake because we have the facility to do it again. We will if we need to. There we go. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker because I do like them to be dark and pop from the page. And there we have. So you can see there. So this is the one I've just done and this is the one that we made earlier. So you can see how beautiful these are. So you could actually go over those leaves with a sparkly pen, make them sparkly if you wanted to, so it could glitter them up. You could do anything you wanted to, make them that extra special. So demo number two, hope you're liking it. I'm sure if you're not, you will let me know. So what those, that's two demos that I have already done for you um, and as I said before um, one of the ladies asked me if I would show some stencil um, stuff because she was struggling and I will do exactly that but before I do that the box project um, I'm being told is um, going to sell out, <laughs> sorry. Um, but if you want it, jump onto the website. The code is 21525. Um, grab it as quick as you can. It is limited edition. And like I said before, this um, video will be on my website for people to view later. Fingers crossed there's some left for people who've missed out, who maybe m will miss out. But um, grab it if you really, really want it because like I said, it's limited edition. We won't be doing it again. So moving away from the box for just two minutes then, just to show one of the ladies how to do the stenciling technique. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and I'm just going to grab the stencil. Now, what I did ahead of time is I grabbed the stencil, which is this one. Um, this is probably the easiest of all the stencils that I brought out. So I've brought this one to you to show you what you can achieve. And you need to start out with the easiest and then build yourself up if you haven't got the great confidence. Okay, so all I'm going to do... just got some white cardstock here I'm just going to sit it on top of my Eureka like so I don't tape my stencils down because honestly if my stencil moves I'm not overly concerned about it because watercolouring is naturally loose okay so I'm just going to pop this over the corner of this card here like so and I'm just going to get a, um, a dabber and we will go with let's just go with uh, green because we've got green on my table so I'm just going to quickly stencil through this because this is the easy part and I'm sure you can all do this at home. So just get the green and I'm just going to stencil through this part of the stencil here onto the right hand side of the cardstock. So you can either daub, um, drag, sponge, whatever you want to do, whatever suits you, there is no right and wrong way. Please don't ever think you should be like anybody else. You know, do what you do and do it, you know, with love, uh, care, attention, you know. Don't try and be like other people. So I'm just sponging it through for speed because this is really not the element of um, the stencil that people have been struggling with. This is your generic stencil stuff. So I'm just going to stencil through. Now, if you wanted to be a little bit creative, you could go in with a darker ink pad in the corners of the leaves just to create a little bit of light and shade. But that comes in time, you know, practice, practice. And at the end of the day, like I said earlier, this is just a little bit of cardstock. You know, you can't hurt anything. You're not hurting anyone by sitting and playing. If it ends up in the bin, you know, it's not the end of the world. 
So I'm just going to add a bit of depth on there. So you start from the centre out, in. Like so. So we'll just move this out of the way and you'll be able to see. Oops. How lovely that looks. So that's just on the bottom right hand corner. So this is a leaf element of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go show you how to go in with the detail with the pen. Okay. So just move the stencil out of the way. So, um, couple of things then so I've got two pens with me here today I have the micron pens a size 5 and a size 2 pen so what I would suggest is get a pen try the thickness if you like the thickness stick with it there's a size 2 and a size 5 here and I wanted to show you um, the different looks you can achieve with either pens so two might be too thin for you or five might be too chunky what I would suggest is always get a piece of scratch paper first a piece of scrap paper and draw some lines to see if it's what you do so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the pen now this is size five and I'm just going to draw a, a leaf now and just show you how this one comes across so this is size five okay so all you're going to do is just draw a leaf Now that's a size five. Now I'll do the same in a size two. So you can see straight away there the thickness in pen. Now when I'm on television, I always do size five because it's easy for people to see. But if you're doing it and saying it looks a mess, maybe you're using too thick a pen so try with a size two three and maybe progress to a size five or just stick with a two and a three if that's what you like to do so <clears throat> i'm going to use size five so you can see so what i would suggest is when you're doing your lines don't follow the end of your pen don't follow the end of your pen what you need to do is look at where you're taking your pen so i'm going to draw this leaf in here i'm already i'm starting here but i'm already looking here because i know that's where i need to go and i don't even want to follow that line perfect because it will look too sterile i want it to look like a sketch so place your pen down and just go for it go round. i haven't even followed the watercolor line there can you see and then again, I need to, I'm coming down to here, but I'm starting here. So when I come to draw the line, I'm already looking here because this is where I want to be here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down like so. Okay, the colour, this is watercolouring. It's loose, it's not fluid, it's got um, spaces where you have white areas. So, you know, go, just go with it and just see where you go. And then in there, just do a natural flick. There, we already have a leaf. So let's just, just turn it around then, and I'm going to do one on this one here. So I'm going to start here, but I know I need to be here, so I am looking here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with it. And again, I'm going to start here, and I know I need to be here, so I'm just going to go with it. You see, I'm not sticking to any lines, and then I'm just going to draw a flick. Okay, and then with the stem, just follow the line slightly, but don't do it all. Just draw a little bit of it, so leave gaps. Like so. And then we'll just do another one here. So I'm just going to go with it and go with it. Can you see? I hope this is making sense. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it out for number two so you can see the difference. So, see this one here? We'll do this in size two so you can see the difference. So out now if you can see that you can see straight away there it's a lot thinner so if you're just starting out maybe just start with a two preferably I prefer a five um, I think it's more prominent it stands out better but I do like the five so I'm just going to do this last one here just to show you one more time so I'm starting here but I'm looking here so I'm going to do a wonky one on this one I'm not going to do a straight one so I'm going to do a wonky can you see because not all leaves are straight and then I might follow that line and then you've got like a different shaped leaf on there if you want to be creative you can do a turned corner so it looks like the leaf's got a turn on it okay 
so it's just really as simple as that so then what you could do is just do that across the corner and just while I've got my Eureka in position I'm just going to stamp a sentiment at the side of it and show you how effective this can be so we'll use one of the different sentiments and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stamp and I'm going to stamp straight through the image so you know be creative with it don't think don't think now that you've got the stamp you need to find a space it's like uh, that you don't have to find a space I'm going to stamp this straight through here look through this little bit here where I haven't used a pen and this will show you how you get some great looking cards that look really arty you know like I said before try not to be like everybody else this is a brand new one so I'll just move that closer and then with a black ink pad You may have to stamp this twice because it's a new one, but we will see. So begin each day with a new discovery and you will never grow old. You will just grow. I'll do it one more time. And again, you've got your water droplets in your um, kit. So if you have got the stencils, these water droplets sit really well on your stencils. There we have it beautiful looking artwork with little to no effort so what can i say three demonstrations i hope if anything you have picked up some techniques today i hope it's been worth it i hope it's been worth the wait we're going to be doing loads of videos like this in the future it's going to be lots of box projects lots of um like should we call them facebook lives with sneak peeks and things like that that will always be done in my studio here at stamps by me so um i have put a comment on facebook for people to put comments about feedback if you've enjoyed it did you buy the box is it something you will work with is it something you will give to somebody as a gift you know just let me know i'm open to feedback and i'm so pleased that today's gone so far so good it's been an amazing journey so uh, i will catch you all soon and i can't wait for the next one i'll see you all later everybody take care bye bye